Hi everyone, my name is Mireya. For this video, I will be sharing with you my eyebrow routine. I'm, I'm gonna be using the Melt Proof Brow Kit from Anastasia. This is the first time that I will be testing this product out. I usually use a pencil like these. This one's from Revlon, Color Stay Brow Creator. I'm not saying this is a favorite. I have several eyebrow pencils that I've used in the past and I haven't found one that I can say it's my favorite. I'm still gonna be testing out different eyebrow pencils. Once I find the perfect one, the one that I am in love with, I will share it with you guys. This one I did like, I'm not gonna say that I hated it, but this one is a pencil, I'm out. I like to use this one when I'm in a hurry. I just do, 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 draw in my eyebrows. Before years ago, I can't believe that I used to do my makeup and I didn't ever touch my brows yeah I didn't do anything to my brows now that I look back I'm like I don't think that I could leave the house without touching my brows I have to do my eyebrows add a little bit of mascara and then I could be out the door foundation like I don't even care that much because I feel like my eyes is what makes a big difference even the girls that have fake eyelash extensions they look so pretty just with the extensions on which I've never used eyelash extensions before but I kind of want to try it out but right now we're talking about eyebrows I have to do my eyebrows when I leave the house there are some times when I leave the house without applying makeup at all a necessity to me now are my eyebrows i did go all out and i did do them a little bit thick i was checking the audio because i had filmed this video already and the intro i don't think it captured all of the audio but i was mentioning that my eyebrows were looking a bit on the thicker side but now that i've done the rest of the makeup i feel like it blended in or it looks well with once everything's on. Once I've applied all of my makeup, I feel like it's it's okay. But I'll possibly be doing them a bit thinner next time. I wanna say that I am liking this. This is how my eyebrows turned out, guys. I hope you guys like the way I do it. Everyone has their own way of doing their brows. I have my own way, this is my eyebrow routine. If you would like to see and learn how I do my eyebrows, just keep on watching this video. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a routine on how I do my eyebrows, eyebrow routine, and I'm also gonna be sharing with you for the first time that I'm gonna be trying this product out. It's the Melt Proof Brow Kit from Anastasia. It comes with these three products, so let's get started. I purchased a taupe, that's the name of it. I've never used this before. In the instructions it says, start by applying dip brow gel at the arch, working toward the tail in the direction of the of the hair's natural growth. With remaining product on the brush, apply through the front of the brow. Let set for 20 seconds. Step number two says load up brush 12 with dip brow pomade and create hair-like strokes. Leave space in between strokes for a natural brow look. You can also outline the shape for more definition. Blend as you go using the spoolie end of the brush 12 for a natural looking finish. I don't know if I should do that. I guess let's try it. Let me put these bangs aside. I'm gonna zoom you guys in that we can get a close look. Hello, you see that big pimple there? Yeah, that's the star of the show today. I'm gonna start with a gel. I normally don't do this, but we'll go with what the box says. And then I'm just gonna go on with my normal routine on how I do my eyebrows. I like to grab just a little bit on the corner and if I grab too much, I kind of cl clean it off with the, on the side of the jar. And I always use like the same side. I don't like to work with the whole thing. I like to work clean. I clean it off if I grab too much. I'm going to be using this spoolie or the brush here to just clean a little bit. I feel like I went too thick already, but that's okay. I'm going to clean it off with the concealer. I 
why now that my eyebrows are zoomed in i feel like i got some big old bushy eyebrows but i don't really think that's the case like when i zoom out i don't feel like my eyebrows look like that so i'm just brushing them just to clean everything out once i use the concealer everything's gonna look better what do you guys think? Like, I don't think I like it that much. I guess I'm used to the way I normally do it with my other eyebrow powder. My brow powder that I, that I use from Lorac. I guess I'm so used to it that I always use it. And I guess I just repeated myself. But let's move on to the next eyebrow. So it says not to start here, to start from here to the, to the back. But I like to start from here. That's how I do it. Everyone has their own way of doing their eyebrows, and this is how I do it. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to share with you how I do my eyebrows. I know it's not a perfect way to do your eyebrows. Hopefully this video helps at least one person. I guess just so you can get an idea on how I do my eyebrows, just in case you ever saw any of my any of my videos, and then you're like, eh, I wonder how she does her eyebrows. So just wanted to do this video like as an extra video out there. Yeah, I know look horrible on this look. I don't know if it's this product or it's just that they just look horrible. <laughs> it is my tone, I think. I don't feel like it's too dark. But then again, I always like my eyebrows to be dark. And my husband's always telling me, your eyebrows are too dark today. And I think that's going to be the case today. But I don't want to go with a lighter color because... I don't like my eyebrows to be too light either. I know I messed up right there, but I'm going to be using concealer for that. You're supposed to use the brush going up. That way it creates hair-like strokes. I don't normally follow that rule. And that's probably one of the reasons why my eyebrows are not professional, which to me it's fine. I mean, once the whole makeup's complete, then it looks okay. <laughs> I think I went too low there, but that's okay. So that's what my eyebrows look like right now. What I would do is I would use this gel at the end. I know the instructions say to use it in the beginning. I'm gonna go ahead and, I feel like this is like the finish to the eyebrows, like the gel, so the eyebrows could stay in place. Since this is an eyebrow tutorial, I want to explain to you guys what I would normally use or what I use when I do my eyebrows. I use this Billion Dollar Eyebrow Concealer. It's a pencil. Normally when I'm in a hurry, I use the eyebrow pencil. I don't have a favorite one that I like. This one is from Revlon. This is the Color Stay Brow Creator. It was a very thin brush. I like, I don't want to say it's my favorite. I'm still on the search for a really good pencil and I like the pencil because you can just brush so it's a much quicker way to do your eyebrows and then you don't have to clean up a makeup brush or wash it or anything like that and then I use this concealer sometimes when I'm in a hurry if not I don't I skip the concealer I have these other two concealers I just purchased this from LA colors I don't know if I should use this one or this I'm gonna go ahead and use this one from wet and wild just because it's gonna gonna work as a base as well for the rest of my makeup i'm going to be taking this wet and wild makeup brush here i'm going to dip it into that concealer clean up my eyebrow here i normally just do the line and then i brush down i go down like this i bring the concealer down I know it looks a bit pale, but once I get that eyeshadow on there, you won't be able to notice. And there you go. Now that looks crazy. I 
I used to think this was too much, but it's something that I have to do in order to get like some really nice brows. To blend everything, I'm going to be taking my new beauty blender and I'm also going to be using this Mario Badesco. This is a spray, so I'm going to be spraying my beauty blender with that. It's the first time I use this beauty blender, I'm trying to see which side's better to use. Dab, dab, dab. I started YouTube 10 years ago, guys. That's when I started actually filming videos. And I really love makeup. That's something that I really... Something that I'm really passionate about and I just don't understand why I never started with my makeup tutorials so I really hope that you guys like these videos I'm gonna be sharing more of these videos with you guys I'm not a professional I don't know I, I just hope that you guys enjoyed watching them I really hope you guys do Let me go down at the bottom. yeah this is much better this is the unique beauty blender but I, I'm liking it Pretty awesome. I just dab, 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 dab. Not bad, right? Got my eyebrows on now. If I need to clean up a bit more, I just grab that brush again. I think I did pretty well though. So that's what my eyebrows look like. Now I'm gonna move on with the rest of the makeup. I like the way that they turned out whenever I was starting to do everything I'm like what am I doing like this is not looking nice but I like it I like how they turned out I'm gonna zoom you guys in a bit there you go these are my Mireya brows yes this girl's crazy this girl's crazy is that what you're thinking <laughs> let's move on to the rest of the makeup what do you guys think you guys liked how I did my brows like I mentioned in the video today, I did go on the thicker side. The color, I think it's a bit dark. I know that my husband's probably going to be like, oh, they're a bit dark. He doesn't like when my eyebrows are too dark. But I think it blends well with the rest of the makeup. I think it looks good. I don't think I'm going to be using this technique every time. Just when I do like more of a dramatic makeup look like the one I did today. Which, if you would like to see how I did this eyeshadow look, click the card up here. Or I'm going to be leaving that video in the description box below. Which, I think that video is going to be on tomorrow because I'm going to be sharing 30 days of makeup with Mireya in celebration of my 10 year anniversary here on YouTube. This is a gift from me to you guys. So please subscribe if you haven't already. If you like makeup videos, cleaning videos, DIYs, nail videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you've been subscribed to my channel for several years now and you no longer like this content, please unsubscribe. I don't think anyone's ever said unsubscribe, but I think this is something that we should all do for this new year. If you are no longer liking the content that I share with you guys, I think you should unsubscribe. The reason I'm saying that is because it's gonna clean out your subscription feed, at least that's what I do every now and then. I clean out my subscription feed, I unsubscribe, and if I remember that I like this person, then I'll go back and subscribe again. I'm gonna be sharing many different videos with you, and I don't wanna fill up your subscription feed with videos that you are no longer interested in and it's okay i'm not gonna get sad i understand that interest change within time i've been on youtube for 10 years and possibly when i started filming videos that was you know, i'll put myself as an example i'm now a mother and i do like watching mommy videos now and that's totally understandable if you're more into mommy videos or different videos please keep that into consideration Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to be bugging you guys, like I said, for the next month. I'm going to be sharing a makeup video every day, so please subscribe if you are interested in those videos. I'm going to be sharing you the, uh, this makeup look. This will be the second video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.